Recent studies and news stories coming out of China are, are revealing that the Chinese government is in a very interesting position here. They want to exploit the fact that there are literally millions and millions of electric cars in China that use lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are incredibly effective for very low battery degradation. I mean, you're talking battery packs here that if you were to plug your EV into the grid, for example, a Tesla Model Y or a BYD 803, you would see very minimal degradation. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you plug your car into the grid, it actually discharges about one third the power versus actually driving it. So there's a, a lot less strain on your battery pack plugging it into the grid. Now, China knows this and they're doing studies now Basically, the Chinese government are saying, you know what, we potentially don't need as much renewable energy storage, battery storage as we thought we would, because actually owners have EVs. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I know that governments all around the world have to be looking at this. In Germany last year, they curtailed 19 terawatt hours of energy. That's more than many countries produce an entire year, meaning... Germany wasted more electricity than entire countries actually consume in a year. Curtailment, right? Curtailment of renewables is a huge issue here in many countries worldwide. We're wasting so much energy because we are, we're we not storing it. We don't have the, the capacity to store it. Now, that is changing. Germany's building out enormous batteries, not at the same pace of the United States or Australia or China, but they are certainly building them out. That will change. But just imagine... If all the EVs that had been sold were capable of vehicle to grid, and if you know the grid electricity companies would actually support this, if governments would get on board, this would revolutionize the world within the space of 12 months. We literally could get rid of all this wasted energy, all these, all these billions of dollars of wasted energy worldwide. Renewables have been curtailed in every Western country. All this electricity has been wasted at different points of the day, different times of the year. It's being wasted. This would be revolutionary. This would be an entirely new paradigm for global energy. So what's going on here in China? Well, unfortunately, we're still kind of in early days, but we do know here this point. Tesla say their vehicles next year, 2025, let's hope this is true, will have vehicle to grid. If Tesla sells 2 million EVs a year and these EVs have vehicle to grid, that's the equivalent of selling literally hundreds of thousands of gigawatt hours of enormous batteries. Like think about it, right? If a Tesla vehicle has, say, a 70 kilowatt hour battery, that's the equivalent of five Tesla power walls. Five Tesla power walls. Two million EVs that are the equivalent of five Tesla power walls each. That's the equivalent of one million, literally the equivalent of one million Tesla power walls that Tesla could sell in a single year. And that doesn't include all the Tesla power walls they're going to sell on top of those as well. That is huge because that's just one car brand. Add to that all the other car brands that will soon have vehicle to grid and uh, things could change very quickly. Vehicle to grid discussions have been, people have been talking about this for a long time. I've had this discussion with many people on many occasions. Now China's EV market apparently is, well, as you know, as you guys know, it's, uh, it's enormous. They're on pace to sell 10 million EVs this year. Now, I know a combination of those, some of those are plug-in hybrids, probably about 50% are plug-in hybrids, 50% are fully electric cars, but it still doesn't change the reality here that even plug-in hybrids, even they can charge the grid. China launched its first large-scale vehicle-to-grid interaction across an entire province involving over 1,000 electric vehicles in the eastern province of Yangtze for off-peak charging and reverse discharging showcasing EV's potential as mobile power banks, says Chinese media. This is a relatively small program. However, um, by 2030, uh, Clean Technica says, the number of EVs in Yangtze will be, will it, it will exceed 10 million. If only 10% of those vehicles participate in reverse discharging in the grid, they could provide over 1 million kilowatts of peak shaving capacity equivalent to plugging in a 1 million kilowatt battery. 
a 1 million kilowatt battery, that's, that would be the biggest battery in the world. Now that's only one relatively small Chinese city. Imagine what could happen if every city uh, in, the, in the world did this. Now, once we're all buying electric cars by 2030 or 2035, could be 2035, but we will get to the point where everyone's buying EVs. We will get to the point where all of these EVs are capable of vehicle to grid. And honestly, who in their right mind would want to pay for electricity? Who would want to pay for electricity? So everyone will be plugging in. I would say that most people will, be, will use solar. Everyone that doesn't live in an apartment, I know in Germany, everyone who lives in, well, many people in apartments have solar anyway. They have apartment solar that they put on their balconies. But you know, in places like Australia and America where apartment solar is illegal, they won't have it, but everyone else will have solar because solar is so cheap. It's insane. You buy an EV and very, very often once you buy an EV, if you don't have solar, you go and get solar. Now, knowing that your vehicle has vehicle to grid, it gives you more incentive to have solar, right? It gives you more incentive to actually use your own energy, right, for your house. Uh, and when you create that solar during the day, you can then use it at night via your EV. It's just brilliant. What I suspect will happen is pika plants. For, for one, we know that pika plants are going to go bankrupt. Many of them are already going bankrupt in America, in Australia, uh, in Europe, in China. This is the easily disrupted industry. And Elon Musk has been talking about this for, for years now. But here's the thing, entire energy companies could cease to exist, even ones deploying a lot of renewables, because honestly, we have the means of production. Human beings, within the next five years, will have the complete means of producing all of their own energy. So this will change the entire energy market. If you're invested in an energy company, it's worth considering this reality. Will there be the kind of demand there is today for electricity from the grid? Clearly there won't be. Clearly millions and millions of people, I mean hundreds of millions of people will be producing all the energy that they need. They will no longer need electricity from the grid. So the shape, the size of the electricity market worldwide will continue to shrink. So if you're invested in a company that is in the electricity market, you have to consider the fact that they will be competing for a smaller pie. That will put more pressure on prices, pushing prices down. Prices go down, the pie becomes smaller, and what happens? Well, this is a big positive for all of us, but it's not a positive for electricity companies. And it's certainly not a positive for companies who have coal power plants or any kind of fossil fuel power plants in their portfolio. Guys, have a quick look at your, your investments, You know your 501k, your, your super here in Australia, your superannuation. This is something you need to consider because I'm not the only person saying this. Some YouTuber um, is not the only person saying this. There are lots of experts making similar predictions about the future of the global electricity market.